I'm no man, but that thing, it scares me. The flamethrower in Hogs of War has never been a favourite of mine. I've always seen this weapon as being a last resort, something that could easily be replaced by a more powerful option. With a base damage of 30, it doesn't exactly stand out from other weapons. Situational is definitely a word I would use to describe it, but it does have a few strengths. For starters, this weapon is only available to the pyrotechnic within the heavy weapons class and, well, nobody else, hence the name. The pyro is able to use the flamethrower three times in single player and only once in multiplayer, but either way, it is deadly against vehicles. At point blank range, you can get a maximum damage output of 102, which is enough to destroy a single pillbox and take a hefty chunk out of tanks and artillery pieces. But that's where the flamethrower's main weakness lies. It requires the player to move their pig closer to the enemy vehicle, exposing them to fire from the target and indeed other vehicles that may be in that area. Which is why I prioritize using this weapon against pillboxes and shelters only, as going up against other vehicles can be too dangerous. Sure, you can use the flamethrower on tanks and artilleries that you know have low health, but again, you still have to factor in your position. Not to mention the fact that you risk damaging yourself in the process if you are positioned too close to that exploding vehicle. In the majority of single player missions, artilleries are placed on high ground in areas that don't provide any cover. For example, Mission 10's Bangers and Mash and Mission 16's Over the Top. Both sets of artillery pieces have a full view of the surrounding area. In fact, on Mission 16, you can't even get onto the high ground without using a jetpack, so the pyros wouldn't be able to get there in the first place. Mission 10 requires the player to traverse around the entire length of the map just to reach the medals and the artillery position on the high ground, so you have to ask the question, is it really worth it, or would you rather stay behind cover and shell that area with using mortars and bazookas and indeed the airburst that you have as the pyrotechnic? Let me know what tactics you think would be best in the comments below. Now the flamethrower is unique because it is the only handheld weapon in the entire game that uses and indeed produces fire particles. When the player uses this weapon, the pig shoots the flames in a left to right motion, which results in a wide range of attack that can inflict damage upon multiple enemies, depending on their position. This weapon is also available in multiplayer, like I said, either when the player has a pyrotech on their team or through finding it in a crate. However, the question you may be asking is how has this weapon changed in its development? Well, as far as I'm aware, the flamethrower was not fully implemented until the alpha stage of development, whereby the majority of weapons were, at the very least, functional. Its damage numbers seem to vary, with a max damage being placed at 35, which as we know is only 5 more than today's game. The animation for this weapon was also different, with the pig doing an up and down motion rather than side to side. Immediately you can see that this weapon would have been less accurate for the player. Up and down motion doesn't really make sense when you're coming up against pigs, and vehicles I'm not really too sure on because they weren't fully ready at this stage in development, but the side to side motion makes more sense and is just overall a better approach because you're going for range rather than height, and the tallest vehicle that you can come up against is an artillery piece, but I don't know, it just doesn't quite make sense to me. So to summarise, the flamethrower is wonderful against vehicles and fairly average against pigs. Unless you combine it with environmental areas such as water, then you will bring in all of that damage. Personally, I find this weapon to be fairly underwhelming, as it is quite situational, but it does provide the pyrotechnic with a way of finishing off enemies that have 30 health or less. It does also give you another option, rather than relying heavily on your own accuracy with the bazooka or the mortar. As I've mentioned previously, I prefer to keep my heavy weapons dudes positioned far away from the action, essentially keeping them in the back to rain shells down on the enemy. The heavy weapons class is weak at close range, so the only time they should be pushing forward is when they need to destroy an enemy vehicle or assist in mopping up low health pigs. Anyway, those are my thoughts on the flamethrower. What are yours? Let me know everything you have to say about this weapon in the comments below. How often do you use it? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Everything and anything. Let's get discussion going as we always do. And in the meantime, I will catch you guys later for the next one.
It's just a nick, sir.